Um, moving forward, um, today's Saturday. The next Justice Dialogue will be Wednesday, and we'll have Albert Brown speaking on the ethics uh, and, and principles of permaculture. Okay? And so permaculture is like talking about sustainability, basically. Um, so that, that'll be the second of our environmental talks. Um, and then next week, um, seven days from today, we're going to have Jacenka, and I'm sorry, I can't pronounce her last name, and I don't want to butcher it. Um, she's Bosnian, and she's going to talk about um, white privilege, um, unpacking, uh, I don't know, what's, what's the full title? I'm not sure what the full title is. It's on Peggy McIntosh, unpacking uh, white privilege. That's right. It's Peggy McIntosh wrote a nice article in 1980, 81, something like that, called Unpacking White Privilege. So she's going to talk about that. Um, and next month we have a really interesting lineup. Um, actually, the first speaker for next month is right here. Um, uh, so I'm not gonna, all right, I'm not going to say too much more about next month, but it's, it's looking exciting. And as we get closer, we'll say more about it. Today we have Laura and Sarah Haeckel. Um, the Haeckel twins hail from, from um, Buffalo, um, really, is in Williamsville, <laughs> right? But um, they certainly have not been confined to Buffalo. They really, like, spread out, traveled over the world, and coming back with insight and wisdom. And they've been active in the movement, and in their activity, they've noticed some things. And so... They talked, uh, Laura first, and then she brought her sister Sarah in, has something to say um, to the group about justice, and it's really engaging us to think about what responsibility means. And so I'm done now, and please welcome Laura and Sarah. Thank you for coming on this cold January Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I feel like stamping. Yeah. Um, I'm Laura Hakel, and I'm Sarah. Hakel. We're, we're the Hakel twins. <laughs> and um, and uh, the <laughs> Click and clack. Um, Heckle, and Heckle and Jekyll. Jekyll. That was a that was a common name. Sunshine daydream. Yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that was high school. That was a hippie stage. <laughs> Um, I felt inspired recently to bring this subject to the group and just have an open dialogue really about self-responsibility for collective responsibility, self-responsibility versus collective responsibility. Um, just to open up the dialogue, uh, Sarah and I have been learning a lot about taking self-responsibility to a, a completely next level that neither one of us was aware of before we started a feminine power course about a year and a half ago. Um, so we've been inspired, we've been empowered, and we wanted to share that with you and engage you and, and just you know open up a dialogue about this topic. And hear your thoughts as well, because um, we know that this is a charged subject. <laughs> <laughs> or can be. Or can be, right, in lots of ways, you know. There's a lot of energy around this topic, so. Um, but first and foremost, let's just, um, become present in the space so if you would all like if you can to just if you feel called to stand up and just feel the body a little bit because i know we <laughs> and if you want to you can stay seated that's fine um what i'd like to encourage us to do is just notice our breath and just watch our breathing for a moment you can keep your eyes open and just breathe And I'd like to invite you to look around the room as if it's the very first time you've ever seen any of this. Any of these people, any of these objects. And just looking around with an inquisitive gaze, curious. on the floor. 
sensing into the aliveness of the moment that you feel in your body. You can sit down again. Um, so what really spearheaded this idea for me was um, Sarah had actually forwarded uh, an article on self-responsibility and it was really focused on the self, you know, aligning with your inner self, um, noticing ways and behaviors, how you're showing up in life and then how that is creating what you experience in your outer realm or in the outside experience. Um, and I had sent that along to a couple of friends, and my one girlfriend, Carol Ann, who I had the pleasure of meeting through Heron, um, she had forwarded that to some of her friends. And a woman responded with a big question. She said, you know, self-responsibility, where is the we in that? Where, I mean, how does that transfer into collective responsibility? I mean, when, say, we have a weight issue and we want to take self-responsibility to lose that weight, isn't it our community that helps us stay, you know, on point and, and keep us accountable for, you know, really efforting to do that? And um, so she had this big question, shouldn't collective responsibility be the thing we're focusing on right now? And my question was, well, can someone effectively take collective responsibility in an empowered way when they're not clear on what it is to take self-responsibility? And so that's what really inspired me to reach out to Heron and say, I think I've got something here and something to really engage with a, with a group around and, and get people just, you know, marinating and meditating and opening up around. Percolating. Percolating. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, for me, I also, the article that um, was kind of passed around, I think it was called Positively Positive, and um, it was basically along the lines of um, being able to take full self-responsibility was an access to a whole new experience in life. And that's what I've experienced in my own life just this past year and a half. Um, Laura and I were in a program called Feminine Power together, and one of the main principles is attention on self first and foremost, and then focusing on how I'm showing up to experience what I'm actually experiencing in the field of life. Um, and, you know, that it really is all about our relationships. It's about our relationships with ourselves, with each other, and with life itself. Um, so I have a description of, uh, from Feminine Power, Catherine uh, Woodward Thomas and Clara Zamet are the ones that are co-creators of that program. And really the idea of the program is, it's through our relationships that we experience our fullest potentials manifest. Um, so this is just one element of this course, but I thought it might just give a nice introduction to um, where I and we kind of learn about this process, and then it'll help open up the dialogue a little bit more. Um, so they talk about self as source. In order to access the power we need to transform our lives and evolve beyond the patterns of the past, we take the radical position of self-responsibility. Becoming genuinely interested in and curious about our role in creating the experiences we are having. To do this, however, we must be willing to give up any and all attachments to victimization. Where we've been the victims of the poor behaviors of others, victims of circumstances, victims of the culture, even victims of our own consciousness, living out the legacy of those limitations and deficits handed down to us through the ages. It's 
not that we've never been victimized by the bad behaviors of others or by the blows and disappointments that life itself will deal us from time to time, <coughs> or by the undistinguished, disempowering consciousness operating covertly within the collective. It is, however, that we no longer have our primary attention here in this place. Where we look instead is to discover ourselves as the source of our experiences. We look not simply to the transgressions and perpetrations of others and of life, but mainly to inquire and examine into our own collusion and responses. For Wilkes, we cannot be responsible for much of what has happened to us in life. We can be responsible for who we have been in the face of it, and even seek to discover the often covert and unconscious ways in which we have colluded with our own victimization. This is our only access to power, and this is what they're saying. This is our true ticket towards liberation from the patterns of the past. I'm gonna read that one more time. This is our yeah. only access to power. This is our true ticket towards liberation from the patterns of the past. This is our entry fee 